For this example, we are given a signal Xn with this value, where this is the signal at origin n equal to 0, this is at n equal to negative 1, n equal to negative 2, this is at n equal to 1, 2, and 3. So in this example, we need to determine the z transform xz. So based on this equation of z transform, xz is equal to, so the n should start at negative 2 based on this one, until n negative two. Uh, positive 3 for this one so we're using this equation xn multiply with z with the power of negative n so how to do it okay we started with the lowest n which is n negative 2 so for n equal to negative 2 where the amplitude of xn is equal to 8 so we use this equation xz equal to xn which is 8, multiply with z minus negative n, z minus negative n. So negative n is equal to negative, uh, sorry, n is equal to negative 2. So in this case, it became 8z with the power of 2xz squared. So you repeat the same process for another signal of xn for n equal to negative 1 until n equal to 3 you will have this equation of xz for a given xn in this example so we have xz squared plus 3z minus 2 plus 4z with the mi uh, with the power of minus 2 minus 6z with the power of minus 3 The next example is Xn equal to impulse signals. So if we, we need to determine the Xz for this impulse signal. So we are using this equation for n from 0 until infinity. In this case, we use unilateral Z transform because impulse signal is equal to 1, for example, for n equal to 0 and larger than 0. So we use unilateral Z transform. So this signal multiply with Z with the power of negative N and then when we start with N equal to 0 it became 1. Z with the power of 0 is 1. So essentially the impulse response when we transform to Z transform it became 1. The next example is the unit step xn equal to un. So for the z transform of unit step, we use uh, the summation from n equal to 0 until infinity because step function is also uh, 1 for n equal to and larger than 0. So multiply the xn or un with z with the power of negative n. So for this one, we can rearrange this equation in this format. Okay, so it became 1 over z with the power of n. And then, uh, please remind that the closed form expression, if you have this function a with the power of n, for example, this is a with the power of n, so this function is actually equal to this one, 1 over 1 minus a. For example, if we have this function a with the power of n, it is actually equal to a with the power of 0, which is 1, plus a with the power of 1, a squared, a cubed, plus and so on. So this series is actually equal to this one, 1 over 1 minus a if only the magnitude of A less than 1. So if we have this format, it's actually equal to this one, 1 over 1 minus A. Therefore, the Z transform of Xn is equal to 1 over 1 minus this function. This is actually equal to A, 1 over Z here. So minus 1 over Z. And if we simplify this equation, it became z over z minus 1. 
So the Z transform of unit step U N is equal to Z over Z minus 1. The next uh, example is Xn equal to A with the power of N multiplied with U N. So for this one, we use this equation from N equal to 0 to infinity. Okay, so we rearrange this equation. We have A divided by Z with the power of N. So this is like the closed form expression. So for this one, it's actually equal to 1 over 1 minus A over Z. And then we rearrange this equation. It became Z divided by Z minus A. So the closed form expression for this function is Z over Z minus A as written here. So essentially, the Z transform of A and multiply with UN is equal to Z over Z minus A.